Yeah. That was probably our best day ever up here. Mm. There he is. Oh. Hey, everybody. It's Jay Ball, Blue Jays Outdoors. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day. Man, I am super, super excited to make this video. Before I get into the video, though, big shout out to the team over at Stinky Balls. They actually sent me some uh, pink swag. And I'll talk about these guys a little bit more in another uh, another video, but uh, big shout out to them for sending me some uh, some pink stuff. So uh, what I want to do for you guys is actually an unboxing uh, from a really unique company called High Octane uh, Custom Baits. Now these guys make a lot of baits for snakehead. I've never personally caught a snakehead before, but it's really interesting because they have a lot of pink baits. Uh, kind of off the shelf stand. They got some pink frogs, some spink, uh, pink spinner baits, and some pink bladed jigs. And a uh, big shout out to Steve. And uh, actually, Eddie had reached out to me and said, Hey, I think you need to check out some of the baits that uh, Steve has over there at High Octane Custom Baits. So, talked to Steve and he sent me some stuff. So, really, really uh, appreciate it. Big shout out to the team over there. Want to do this unboxing for you. And I, I really do appreciate all the support in a previous video. I'll leave a link up to it in one of these corners. I uh, did a big unboxing and doing a, a tackle warehouse kind of giveaway. But because of the success of that giveaway and all the participation, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned and uh, let's uh, let's get into this. Let's see what's all in here. So got to cut this thing open first. Definitely not going to uh, fall apart during shipping. That's for sure. So let's see what's in here first. Got some stickers. Always like stickers, obviously. So uh, yeah, here's the uh, here's some of the hook stickers. So again, big shout out to High Octane Custom Baits for uh, sending me some uh, really really cool stickers. Check these guys out. So definitely like those. The hook set 10k. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, so really appreciate the uh, stickers. But man, there's some pretty cool uh, some pretty cool pink stuff in here. So let's just. Um, Oh man, I can't wait to show you guys this stuff. Got some really, really cool pink frogs. Got some pink spinner baits. Oh man, I just, I'm just going to show you guys. So this first one is a custom pink frog. Check this thing out. Man, this thing looks freaking sweet. Look at the, look at how pink that is. I mean that, that is a frog that I don't have to dye pink. I can, I can tell you that right now. So. uh that freaking that frog is gonna get absolutely train wrecked. I can promise you that. There's another frog in here as well. Let's take a look at this one. So this is like a more like kind of a, a ribbed one here, but again, that thing is super pink. Look at how pink those tails are. I mean, I have to dye all my frogs pink, but um, I don't think I need to do that anymore since uh, High Octane Custom Baits makes all these these frogs pink. Uh, let's see, they got a popping frog here too. Let's take a look at this popping frog. So that one, that one looks pretty cool too. Check that out. Man, that, that thing is going to get absolutely train wrecked. That thing looks really, really sweet. I like throwing a popping frog, especially when it's a little bit windier. I've noticed that the uh, you know popping frog creates a little bit more disturbance in the water for those fish to kind of key in on. Looks like here's this, like a pocket frog. This is a little bit smaller version. Um, so check that out. So a really cool looking frog there. Again, super, super pink. Man, I freaking... <laughs> these things look awesome. And then they got this little itty bitty guy that's got like a blade on it. Check this thing out. That thing is freaking sweet. Look at that. It's got a little blade on it, like a little uh, spinner bait blade on it. And uh, this thing is going to work really, really good in northern Michigan for running around more of that kind of open grass. Uh, maybe when it's a little bit windier, but... Um, you know, I, I like to yo-yo these frogs in the, in the thick, heavy reeds. And, um, you know, what I'll do is, is before I unbox anything else, let me show you guys some of the fish catches I've had in the past on pink frogs and how I yo-yo these frogs actually back in these reeds. And again, uh, the main reason why I started using pink frogs a couple years ago is because I can see pink really, really well. I mean, I can see these frogs uh, in grass way better than a, you know, standard green or standard brown frog. But then also, too, in the area that I fish in northern Michigan, there's a lot of birds that nest in these reeds. And I think that the, the bass are keying in on those baby birds when they land on the water. And what's a baby bird look like when it doesn't have any wings? It's pink. Or any feathers, I should say. They're pink. So not sure if that's true or not, but works for me. I've catch a ton of bass on pink frogs. So check out some of these awesome pink frog fish catches. And then I'll show you guys what else I got. Oh, 
yeah, baby. Woo! Pink frog. There we go. Oh, I love frog fishing, especially the pink filthy frog. Look at that. He absolutely train wrecked it. Let's go. Mm. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish too. If I can get him out of those reeds, come on, stay pinned. He's still on there. There, I got him off. That's a nice fish, man. Yeah, it is. That's a really nice fish on a pink frog. That's a big bass. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. That's a nice one. Oh, Look at that fish. Oh. Yeah, that's why you throw pink frogs, baby. That is what I am talking about. Oh. Look at that chunk, guys. Holy crap. Look at that toad. Probably a good four, four and a half pounder. Let's get it. Yeah, Check out that fish, guys. Pink frog early morning. People ask why do I throw pink frogs. That's why I throw a pink frog right there. Probably not even six o'clock yet, guys. This nice, beautiful post spawn. Oh boy, if if those those catches on pink frogs don't get you excited, um, not sure what will. But uh, yeah, definitely an awesome, awesome bite. Uh, catching uh, pink frogs or uh, bass on pink frogs. So. Uh, what we've got here is really interesting, actually. So this is their pink bladed jig. Check that. Check that thing out, man. That is like, that is pinker than I can die. Bait's pink. You guys got to check this thing out. Hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Let's look at this thing. I mean, this thing is pink. The blade's pink. The head's pink. Um, I think these even have the vec vector hooks on them too, which I'm a big, big fan of vector hooks. But check out that pink bladed jig. Man, that thing is absolutely bad to the bone. I mean, I can't I can't dye that thing any, any more pink than right there. So that's their pink bladed jig. I got two of those. Um, I'm going to need them because, unfortunately, northern pike like these things and big bowfin. Um, but yeah, these, this thing is, this thing is freaking sweet. So... Um, also something they sent me was a Octane Finesse Chatterbait. So check this thing out. This is kind of cool too. So this has got a little bit more of a unique kind of narrow profile. Let's look at this. This is a really, really interesting bait. And it's got a pink soft plastic with it too. <laughs> check this thing out. So this almost has like a, doesn't almost have, so it has a bullet. Uh, weight on the head of it and okay it's got a vector kind of too but yeah look at that it's got a bullet weight on the front of it so it's a little bit more kind of I guess weedless uh, but with that big blade on there so you got that contrast with that chrome blade so I really like that that's that's a really interesting bait I'm gonna have to definitely um, throw this one around this spring but man I mean that is just like pink beyond pink so uh, the guys over at uh, high octane uh, custom baits definitely uh <laughs> definitely appreciate the pink obsession so uh this is a mini trident weedless um chatter bait actually this is interesting too so check this out so this comes with a paddle tail oh man this thing look at this is like an old school spinner almost check that out it's got a weighted hook on it with that uh uh kind of a bullet head weight in the front man this thing is gonna get absolutely destroyed um fishing some weeds in northern michigan man that looks really 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 good so check that out guys really excited to uh to give these baits a try so pretty pretty unique and pretty cool and then they also sent me these tornado spins so these are little blades that you can actually put on the back of a soft plastic worm a, like a cinco and you can actually kind of retrieve this like a speed worm so you can cast this thing out and reel it in and uh definitely creates a lot of action a little bit different uh, profile to it it's got this little screw i don't know if you guys can see those or not and actually i'll just i'll just take them out so you can you can take a look at this real quick but this is something i don't do enough of i definitely need to do more of it is adding these blades to the back of my worms but uh yeah check this out so again it's got that little that little bait keeper on it. So you screw this into the back of a Cinco. And actually, let me let me go grab a Cinco and show you guys how to use these real quick. But again, this is the Tornado Spin uh, plast or a Pink Blade that you put on the back of a Cinco. So let me go grab one real quick and I'll show you guys how this works.
All right, so what better worm to put a pink tornado spin blade on than a pink Senko? <laughs> so, um, so here's a five inch Senko. And what you do is, is you take this screw here on the back of this tornado spin. And then what you do is you just corkscrew this into the bait. What I'll do is I'll get it started a little bit towards the tail and then just spin this on. And again, this is really good. Gives it a, the worm a lot more action, especially when you're fishing in grass. But just kind of screw this in. And there you go, just like that. So then you hook this up on your favorite, you know, three or four out hook. And you can, or you can kind of rig it like this, right? So I could actually rig this with the, the blade on the back if I wanted to, to do something like that, to add a little bit, to add more spins. You got the spinner up front and the sp spinner on the back. And uh, yeah, that's a really, really cool idea. I like those uh, those pink tor torpedo spins. So again, huge, huge shout out to High Octane Custom Banes. Thank you so much for sending me all this really cool pink stuff. Can't wait to get back out fishing. Uh, hopefully get on the water soon. It's been a long time since I've been on the water, but um, yeah, really do appreciate it. So for those of you that uh, hung out with me throughout this entire video, I do appreciate it. What we're going to do is I want to help spread the uh, pink obsession, you know, add to the pink army. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to give away one of these pink frogs to, um, you know, one of my subscribers. So all you have to do, just like the last uh, video, is you've got to watch the video, subscribe to the channel, and then in the comment section, section just say subscribe. That's it. So I'm not going to make you go on any other platforms. YouTube's been a really good platform. You guys have been awesome. Um, I just want to support everybody that's been helping me on my YouTube channel grow. Growth has been going really, really good. So again, all you need to do is you need to subscribe to the channel and then send a comment in the comment section and say subscribe. And you guys are going to win one of these custom pink frogs from High Octane Custom Baits. Baits Again, big shout out to the team over there, Steve, for sending me all this stuff. Really looking forward to getting a chance to use it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again so much for the support. The channel's been growing awesome. I just can't, I cannot thank you guys enough for everything. Um, it's just, it's been a, a blessing. You guys are awesome. So again, thank you so much for all the support. And remember the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks, and hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be on the water. Have a good day.